Will here with the final episode, episode 5 of The Walking Dead. No time left. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone, wherever she is. I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. Sorry, partner. No dice. No way I'm letting you do this alone. I hope you find her, but you're gonna have to do it without us. Clementine. I probably should have told him I was bit, but... I just wanted to go alone. Now Kenny's coming along. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No. Vernon, put Clementine back on! I want to talk to her! This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. We ain't flush with time. But... Fuck. We got less than I thought. I'll be ready to kill anything that tries to get in. You got it by yourself? Damn right. You just trying to find another way out of here. Got it. And Lee, I'm glad I didn't let you come alone. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. <laughs> this is a good help. Hmm, what are these? Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Could work against a walker, though. Just some surgical supplies. This isn't gonna happen. Check up the stairs. Hey, I think I found a way out. I can't get my hands in between the doors. Have these doors open in two seconds. Uh, 
What's on the other side, though? Already changed. Lee, wake up. What the fuck happened? Are you alright? Oh, fuck, Lee. When the hell did that happen? God damn it, Lee. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Whoa! Thanks. God. I found your goddamn secret, you dumb son of a bitch. You were bitten? Fuck, man. When were you... God. It happened before. I'm sorry I didn't say anything. You fucking better be. What are you doing keeping that to yourself? Well, look, I'm pissed. But... I'm glad you're not alone. I was, uh... gonna try to do a little surgery before you woke up. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a hell of a risk, but... Hey, you never know. Ooh. It's probably too late. Fuck it. Cut it off. You sure? Yeah. This ain't gonna be fun. Tell me about it. Oh, man. Fast would be good. Look. You're ah! Ah! Keep still. Try to keep still. Ah! Oh, I know, I know. That's one way to start an episode. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. Holy shit. Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. Arms on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you could believe. You gonna be able to get going? I think we gotta move. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed over. You are some kind of something. Jeez. Oh, not exactly a handicap ramp. No, no it's not. We're gonna have to climb as quiet as we can. Can you handle that? Yeah, get going.
I just about shit my pants. But yeah. Hello, Monsieur Zombie. Remember when Savannah was empty? Oh, way back then. Like six hours ago? A lot's happened in the meantime. You wanna talk about what happened back there? You lost a lot of blood. If you find yourself getting winded or worse, you gotta let me know. Screw that. I look like I need any preferential treatment. Gotta to get the class. You could have taken my damn leg down there. Wouldn't have slowed me down a bit. You hear me? Yeah, pal. I do. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. I think step one is to pick a direction. Back towards the mansion is my vote. I'm all turned around though it's between us and river street so we can stop if we have to retrace our steps maybe and they get going towards the hotel where clem's parents were staying okay we get down and we find a little girl out there right pal now let's get our bearings going back in there. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Oh, must have ran out of paint. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not going to want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. See, Claire. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. Uh, bring them all. She walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. It's an extension ladder.
probably need to take it over to the bale. Get it the ring so I can go down the stairs. It took a tumble. I tried to figure this out. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you tune in Saturday. We'll be streaming for 24 hours straight for Extra Life. to draw the walkers around the city. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Can I pick the ladder up? Yay! Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bell tower? Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? Let me do it. No. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? If anything happens to me, you're the only chance she's got. Be careful. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. Wishing I had my other hand. No kidding. Try to find another way out. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. 
You can make it. It ain't that far. It's not that far. Just a little hop. <laughs> Funny steps. Can't even get a running start. You got it, Lee. Run, Lee, run. Uh. 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 Hell yeah. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Interesting. Hello again, friends. What the fuck? Vernon, his entire crew, they took the boat. No fucking way! They jumped us. They didn't have Clementine. They took the boat and locked us in here. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. They fucked us! He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. We would have done the same. Not like this! We wouldn't leave good people to rot! We've taken food! We've killed to survive. What's the difference? It's different! What the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. Small, stupid thing. But yeah. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! I lived through it, which is a start. And, well... Uh... I thought it might buy me some time. You know, get that bite off my body? Hopefully whatever's gonna happen takes longer. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. I love how they had the guy with the hurt leg run to open the door. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh shit. oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. 
We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Go upstairs. Secure whatever you can and make sure we're alone. Done. Omi! What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! <laughs> Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Oh yeah. Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> yeah, right. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. I think we you stupid jokes. So, no ideas then. We shouldn't have come up here. Where else would we have gone? The streets are a river of walkers, and they were coming in from all sides. We're no He's good to Clementine dead. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't... I'm okay. I'm wearing Paris. No! What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. 
Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on... While you all stand around and talk... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Thanks for joining. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. I didn't want to scare anyone. Because you were scared yourself. I've been bitten by a walker. You thought we'd turn on you. Sure. You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. It's so weird. You keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when you get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can we not talk like that? I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want Kenny to look after her. Stop it. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see him with his family. What did you do to protect them? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? Sorry, guys. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. 
It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. Pain. Stay strong, Lee. I'm just Stay strong. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? Uh, Probably not. I have got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bike. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. How are you? I'm, uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's so happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. So if I want to say hi, meow. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. My arm's cut off. Okay, no. I'm through. Hot damn, son. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... I've heard you say that one before. Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Ken's a strong man. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. What do you call this thing? Art? It's 
sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. <laughs> Just saying. I must admit, Downtown Abbey on PBS is pretty good. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. Going out this window. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? It's good to be moving. We can't stop. Damn right we can't. We're not too far. How we finding this guy? We just get to the hotel and stick together. And use our heads. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Hmm. Careful cross here. Feeling the game's gonna make me fall and I'm gonna have to grab. River Street's just up ahead. That's surprising. Of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> I agree. And when we don't? And when we don't know where to begin to look? Any clue, even the smallest one, is invaluable. We need that thing. Fuck. I'm sorry. She's right. Let's think this through. I just did. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast! would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Oh. 
Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Not quite. There we go. <gasps> Shit. up here, Ken. Get Kenny! Where are you? Get the fuck off me! Jump down there. Going in after him. We can't. We have to. Lee! Go! <laughs> Where? Where'd he go? We don't know. He could be down there still. He, he could be on the run. He could be gone. He could be okay. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... He's a hero. Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Nothing to say. We need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? When it comes to Clementine. Well... Don't think there's much choices. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. going on with you? I don't know what you mean. You know why Kimmy did that, right? I was in trouble. Sure. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. You're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Ah, 
God damn. This is for Clem. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if... Don't what if. I'll meet you. One way to make it to the hotel. What's that option at the bottom? It's an ear. Interesting. I got us adjoining rooms.
below. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Not too cool. Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Mm. No. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. This is interesting. The Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened. You have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> have you ever... hurt somebody... you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. Who? My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. How does he know all this? You weren't there. 
The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. Oh, her plan? I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Sorry you had to do that. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. It's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can.
pulled the trigger. I... I know. I wish... I wish you'd never had to learn that. Me too. I wonder what would have happened if we never took the food. That's creepy. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Which way out? Through there. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah. Of course. So we'll get out of Savannah. Chop suey. Oh, no. So and you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe.
must be her parents. you do that? Because I was bitten, Cleo. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> There's no time to be upset. Okay. I'm I'll upset. try not to be. Just start 
by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. They'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Get the baseball bat. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him. Gun. Yeah. Keys in the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Keys. In case you have to make a run for it. Time. Yeah, you care. Don't worry. Hey. You're strong. 
strong, Cleo. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's for your safety, Clem. If you don't get out in time. But I can wait until then. No, honey. You can't. You can't risk it. It, it is... it is like Larry, huh? I know you did it to protect me. Yes. You just have to do it. It'll be okay. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Domit and Krista. They're looking for a boat. Find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. And always keep moving. You're gonna want to find some place like the motor inn. It's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. And also... <laughs> oh, shit. What? What is it? No, don't worry. stuff. Poor, poor Lee. Let's look at the stats. 62% of other players remove their arm. 